Hey, what's going on everybody? Tom here for another raw BTS breakdown. Um, if you've been kind of keeping up so far, uh, this has been a really fun section for us, this raw BTS section, because it's a chance for us to sort of share, you know, a raw uncut look at a behind the scenes sort of approach to how, you know, we light some of the music videos, some of the short films and commercials that we DP. And I, some of the feedback we've gotten so far in this course has come from you guys, you know, stating that you, you, you know, this section is very helpful because, you know, depending on how much access you guys have to film sets, you know, sometimes watching, you know, people create and sort of watching certain lighting setups and the conversations that are had on set can be helpful and beneficial. So um, if you've been enjoying this section so far, this uh, raw BTS is going to be pretty similar in, in format. You know, you're still going to get a very raw look at the making of this Alex Marshall music video that Jake and I worked on. The only difference is I'm kind of changing up the format a little bit. I'm going to be doing sort of like a live commentary as we sort of watch through the raw BTS. I'm going to sort of share, you know, some insights, sort of my creative approach and sort of kind of walk you through more specifics on the making of this music video. So cool. Let's jump right in. One of the first things I love to do when I'm loading into a location is basically kind of find an area where I will never have to move the gear again. There's nothing worse than bringing in all your cases and setting up all of your gear to find out two hours later, it's like, oh, we're shooting a scene in here and you have to move all the gear and take all the time to move everything again. That's not only how you lose time in your day, but how you also sort of miss out and have certain gear go lost and whatnot. So um, do your best if you can try to, you know, walk through the day with the director and find a room that you'll never shoot in and make that your HQ. And in our instance, we sort of, you know, made that our DIT room and our gear room. And it was just sort of a room that we could always go back to, you know. Um, but yeah, for this first setup, you can kind of see that we are shooting with natural light. We did have a lot of lights that we had access to. I believe we had like an M18 and, you know, Joe Lico, as you'll kind of see later on. But the, the light in this house, you know, had this beautiful sort of like, you know, windows that just, you know, poured in natural light. And I think while the crew is still setting up, Jake and I uh, and the AC uh, Connor basically just sort of found little pockets of light throughout the house. And as you can see, there's, but you know, we can, we were able to maximize our shooting day instead of waiting for all the gear to get loaded in, you know, the light was perfect. You know, even if I had all the money in the world, there's not much I would change about this shot. I mean, you can see the sun's hitting the artist. It kind of had this really kind of cool through the glass look. So, you know, I challenge you on your next shoot is, yeah, even if you've got all the money and you've rented all the lights, see if there's anything you can pick off, just you, the director. It's a good way to sort of get into the day. You know, I the camera was already built, you know, um, from the night before. So I was able to immediately say our call time was 8 a.m. By like 8.15 or 8.30, me and Jake and the AC were just able to go pick off shots and, you know, shots in natural light. You know, you can see he's just got this beautiful little natural light on him. And that didn't require any stand, any lights, any extra crew. So yeah, on your next shoot, if you can, it's a nice way to sort of like, you know, stretch your muscles and get into the day, um, you know, while the rest of the crew and hair and makeup, I mean, I think as you saw in the beginning, the hair and makeup artist was working on the lead female. So instead of just sitting on our, you know, hands waiting for that to all happen, we just sort of found these little pockets of light throughout the house. And, you know, it was a really great way to sort of get into the day. Um, you know, the whole idea of this video was, you know, Alex and this lead female, uh, I'm blanking on her name, but uh, basically, it's kind of like showing the moments where they're falling in love and the moments where they're falling out of love and fighting, you know, it's sort of one of those style videos. So for the falling in love sequences, which is kind of like what you saw them just enjoying breakfast, we actually ended up putting quarter straw, which is a gel. It's called CTS, color temperature straw. And you'll see later, you know, that we've got that. 